Okay. So this video is for Grind Mode J. Congratulations on your Voyager run. Y'all call it your main Voyager run. So I've been driving, as I told you, for I did three years prior, and then I did five years off the road, and then I had to come back to a starter company. I'm getting ready to leave that starter company here shortly. Um, taking a leave from them because I got some family issues with my father, but I also have some stuff I got to deal with on my own as far as a CPAP machine so I can get my 30 day reporting because I can't do it with this truck and with the drama they got going on is too much. But I watch a video and I'm going to try not to make this long but I want to address some of your frustrations that you had with your first level. First of all I think you did a phenomenal job. Do not take offense that they went and took the trailer out the dock that you had. Sometimes they'll have you park a trailer there and that trailer is just being parked there so they can move it somewhere else on the yard. Don't worry about that. What you need to look at is that you got it in there, regardless of how long it took you, it's going to take practice. Eventually, you'll get to the point where you can whip them in. It, 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 won't, be, it won't be as frustrating, but it's going to take practice. It took me time. Whatever you do, take your time. If you rush, try to impress somebody else, try to be like the other truckers, you're going to be bound to hit something. Don't do that. Don't worry about it. I'm not tall either. I'm about five, two, five, three, somewhere like that. So I'm not tall. Um, I do have big hands like a guy. So... Load locks, it takes just a minute to figure them out. Regardless of your size, you can put them up. Um, they don't have to be real high. You know, put them up to as high as you can go. Stretch them across. And then here, you're good. So, they, all it is, if they require two load locks, put the damn two load locks in. They're not going in there measuring the distance. They don't care. They just want them up. So, just put them up. And all you do is crank them across and then lock it. You're good. Now, as far as your issue with the ceiling of the trailer, um, sometimes it's not the seals, sometimes it's the level of the trailer and the doors have gotten old on the trailer so sometimes if you're not even and you're not sitting even, so like trailer sitting there lean, your doors will lean in the same direction so closing them becomes hard. Another thing is sometimes what you have to do, you go to close and they're not sealing right, hit that, that lever, the lever that closes, you know that you lock in place, sometimes you gotta crank it a little bit like pump it up and then It'll and then try to close it. It'll close. Landing gear, high low. So you're high low on your landing gear. Okay. Sometimes, if especially with reefers, because I'm a reefer driver, if that freaking reefer is heavy, you might have it in high gear, but it may take a while to crank because the weight is so much on the legs. Been there, done that. And you just have to crank as if it's in low gear for a minute until it clicks and those legs will then rise and then you can put them in uh, and then it'll go in high gear. So you might have been in high gear and it feels like you're in low gear. You're not. It's the weight of the trailer. And especially if you're telling me you're 44,000 on your drive axles, which is what it sounds like. Okay. Now, sliding tandems. I'm trying to go through this because it's not really hard. Here's the trick with sliding tandems. Slide towards the problem. Okay. Each haul on your tandems is 250 pounds. 250. 250. Sorry, I had to think about it. 250. Yes, yeah, 250. So each haul is 250. I'm pretty sure it's 250. Right now my mind is gone because I got so much going on in my head. Each haul, I believe, is 250. I'm pretty sure of it. If it's, I'm not, y'all correct me because it could be 500, but I think it's 250 each haul. Each haul is 250 pounds. So slide towards your problem, okay? What I mean by slide towards your problem, if you're overweight anywhere in the front of the truck, the steers, the drives, the drives are what are behind the cab, okay, those are your drives, the steers are what you steer, the front tires, drives are behind you, and then your tandem, tandems are in the back of the trailer, okay? If you're over on your steers or your drives, slide your tandems towards the problem. So. If I'm over on my steers, slide it forward. If I'm over on the tandems in the back, slide back. Because what you're forcing the truck to do is to move the weight forward. Slide the tandem towards the problem. Okay. Because what you're doing is saying, oh, I got too much weight up front, so I'm going to slide it forward to take, put some of the weight on this. Oh, I got too much weight on the back, I'm going to slide them back to move some of the weight forward. Slide towards the problem. So you gotta remember. Figure out what you have. So 44,000 pounds, you're over. Okay? Which I don't know exactly how you did that, but I because I don't know how you have the scale thing. I know there's some scale things you can get on the truck and read that. 
but when I go through I do cat scales and always for any load over for me any load over 30 33 35 thousand pounds I scale it our company for the reefer that I'm at currently they want you to scale every load because somebody could load too much in a portion of the reefer causing you to be over even if the load is not all that heavy I still use the road rule of thumb pretty much anything over 30,000 pounds gets a cat scale and I only jack with cat scales unless I have absolutely no choice cat will fight your tickets for you um, one thing as a new driver sometimes you'll be, you'll, you'll happen especially with reefer loads reefer loads because we had that big ass reefer on the back sometimes you're gonna be over on your steers okay granted I'm a heavy woman so I'm, I'm adding 300 pounds onto this damn truck but I have been up to 200 pounds over on my stairs. In the state of California, they normally won't bother you. I've been through other states, and if Cali won't bother you, nobody else really will either. Unless the just DLT doesn't want to be an asshole that day. So, probably, I've heard you can go up to 500 pounds over on your stairs. I try to stay away from that. But, I've been up to 200 pounds over on my stairs. Everything else levels out. Everything's under the 34, 34, 34. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, um, so that's just some of the things. So tandems, easy way to remember, slides was a problem. If you're heavy on the tandems, slide back. If you're heavy on the steers or the drive, slide forward to remove the weight. The tandem sometimes, or the steers are sometimes hard to get under the 12,000 or 12,000 and under. And the reason is because it might be you in there, it might be your shit in the front of the truck. Um, the weight of that don't forget you also got the chains on there most DOTs aren't gonna bother you about a couple hundred pounds and I'm hearing that in California you can go up to 500 over without them bothering you I wouldn't necessarily risk that but you can try I'm going up to 200 without any problems on the steers on those tandems and on the drives you really want to try to keep those under 34,000 yes you do um, best setting is usually the Cali setting that 40 foot mark it's a really good setting uh, I find that most of my reefer loads average out especially if I put it right to as far back as I can go on that 40 foot setting most of my reefer loads always leveled out because most of your reefer loads you're running between 70 and 80 thousand pounds for that truck because uh, reefer loads are frozen food it's, it's heavy they're heavy loads normally very rare have I had a very light reefer load and I like heavy loads. I like heavy loads because it holds your truck down in the wind. Um, I like it in snow because it gives it some grip. I like it in rain because it gives it some grip. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to think if there's anything else you mentioned. You know, you'll learn tricks of the trades out there with the uh, with the doors, though. The doors can sometimes be a pain in the ass, especially if, that, cause if the trailer's sitting on uneven ground or if the door is even just off a little bit. It's sometimes it's hard to close. It has nothing to do with the seal. It has to do with the the bar, and you just have to, and then you kind of get it in there, and then you just have to push it close and lock it. Once you do that, you're straight. You're straight. Yeah, you're straight. Um, yeah, and then the landing gear, your landing gear problem immediately when you said that, the first thing I thought is when you told me this, it sounds like your load was heavy, because most reefers are, you probably were in the right gear. You just got to crank until those legs start going up, uh, because of the weight of the load it's sometimes higher low gear doesn't matter it's just gonna have to crank because it's putting so much pressure on those legs um, what would be easier if drivers would learn this with reefers is not to roll the legs all the way down drop your airbags roll them to airbag level and then drop the trailer so then the next driver all they have to do is drop the airbag hook to it and then uh, when they hit the airbags and lift them up then it's easier to roll the landing gear up but most people aren't taught that. That's really one of the best methods for dealing with heavy, heavy trailers and reefers. Anyway, Grandma J, proud of you. Congratulations. Um, also, we have some new people to the channel. I, I don't have everything. I know there's a Wagoneer. I've got a law firm. I gotta look at you. There's somebody's law firm. I did subscribe to you. Um, I guess they deal with trucking. I'm not referring you to them yet because I have not watched all the videos. I've subscribed right now because they came to the channel they asked me to subscribe um, I'm gonna be looking at your videos and seeing you know who you are and I'm really just dealing with people who just subscribed recently what I want to do is start adding where I welcome people to the channel who actually subscribe 
So if you subscribe probably within the last few days, I'll deal with that. Um, and then I'll start doing that on a regular basis. But to everybody who subscribed, thank you. Uh, if you like the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and then, like I said, topics, please put them out. This is a response video for Grandma J, who just upgraded with Prime to their own truck and went on their maiden voyage. Congratulations. You completed it. That's what you need to be proud of, regardless of how long it took you. You completed it. And as time goes on, everything will become easier. Um, it just will. It, it just really, really will. Um, my backing got off because I switched between companies when I first started out. It took a while to get my backing back the first time I switched from one company to another because uh, I had to take weight a little bit because my backing was on point when I was a Warner. And then when I came over uh, to Swift from Warner uh, back in 2010-11, my backing got off. It's okay. It came back. Same right now. I was off five years. My backing has come back pretty much. I know what I am going to do, what I'm not going to do. There's some of it that's still a little off, but for the most part... I can get this truck in a hole. It might take me a minute. It takes me a minute. You just freaking wait. Take your time. I'm not trying to tear shit up. That's the way you do it. Congratulations. Proud of you.